What, what do you guys say, bud? What? What do you guys say? I don't know. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, well. I haven't recorded off my phone ever, but don't have a video to post tomorrow for you guys. So me and Tim are going to show some secret baits that we like to use. What do you guys say? You're unreal. <laughs> I'm unreal. You know what's unreal? You know what's unreal? What? That stupid look on your face. <clears throat> Got him with that one. Okay, we are in the crankbait aisle. How do I flip this thing around? Can I not flip it around when I'm recording? Well, turn your phone up and down. Yeah. Nope, not a wow. thing. <clears throat> okay, well, we are, uh, well, this is just backwards. This is goofy. So we're gonna start over here. Favorite trolling bait. Flicker shad, flicker minnow. Perhaps number fives or number sevens work very well for trolling and or casting. Salmon hornets, reef runners for big walleyes. Why are you taking a video of me? Nah. Why are you taking a video? Are you taking a video of me while I'm taking a video of you? <laughs> no. This is really just a funny video, I guess. The the geese are hard to find right now. I've been trying to scout. If you have yet, hit that subscribe button, please. And thank you. I'm trying to upload every Tuesday and Friday, if you haven't noticed. <sighs> but it's kind of difficult right now. I've not went fishing in a little while. Mmm, plastics. Or oh, not even buy plastics. What are your favorite jigs? Are these new? No. No? Acme? V rods? Yeah, those are, I don't know. That's Comment so down cool. below if you've uh, ever seen one of these before. Acme V rod. Do they got fire tiger? Do they have fire tiger? Oh, Tim man. wants to know, and are they good? Oh boy, Tim found, oh, a, no. Tim found a close to fire tiger one. I don't know how I feel about fire tiger or anything, but if Tim likes it, I like it, I guess. I'm going by the plastics, Tim. Ooh, look at these. Good walleye baits. Is that a fisher? Thin fisher? Just kidding. No, it's not. It's a, uh, I can't even think of the name of it. I always forget the name of it. What is it? <clears throat> Why are you being so weird? Is it because we're in a public store? Yeah. What are you looking at? They don't kind of You either. have to, like, explain. You don't have they, any what? They don't got the good color. What's the good color? The purple with emerald flakes. Purple with emerald flakes, Tim says. Is that for bass? <laughs> <laughs> is it? No. For muskies. What is it for? What do you use it for? How do you rig it? Bass. Tell us. Tell us. You gotta tell. This is gonna be our YouTube video this, this is on gonna Tuesday. Be our YouTube video. Tim's such a little girl. Oh my gosh. What do you love me? Oh gosh. What? I don't know. They got a lot of plastics. These. Good walleye baits. Oh, actually, I've used these orange ones quite a few times right here. The old, not a rib worm, what is it called? The Pulse R. Why are you getting a rod down? Oh my gosh. You want to go bass fishing? Ooh, that's terrible. That is not good. <laughs> that's not good. That stupid look on your face. <laughs> Duh. Oh, comment down below whether you uh, would rather see hunting or fishing videos. Because I'm not sure whether I want to hunt or I want to fish. Goose hunting. Well, I'm going to do some deer hunting hopefully too with my brother, some bow hunting, but see what happens. Tim's Let's the... Let's see your bluegill bait. Right here. That's why I use for bluegills, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, has 14 inches. Um, Caleb left me, so... Now I'm just saying really stupid stuff. But uh, I got his phone now, so. Oh, here he is. Oh, here I am. Take okay, your phone. Let's, let's go. Let's come over here. <clears throat> okay, Tim. So what what line do you really like a lot? Or no, wait. What line did you have on that that sucked? Oh yeah. Sea guy. Yeah. Seagar. Okay, well, you gotta explain it, dude. So, Tim had this Seagar. Nice Seagar line on, 25 bucks a spool, and I was using 
Power Pro at Fort well Walmart twelve dollars a spool. Not hating on Fleet Farm, but so Tim's paying double the price as I am. And uh, it was really good for about six months, and then then so what? Total weak spots. And then Tim started being able to just pretty much pull it and snap it. Mm -hmm. So then he got rid of that. What do you have on now? J braid. J braid. Is it working good? Well, that's Full actually part. that's actually pretty good price too. Eleven bucks. That's freaking cheap. This is the good stuff. Eleven bucks. Oh, nine, nine, eight. Nine, 19 bucks times eight. Okay, so J braids Tim. I like Power Pro for braid. I just rock the old Berkeley Trilene. Trilene. There's another way to say this, but I think I'm pretty sure it's Trilene. 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 I don't know. I, don't know. I call it Trilene. For leader line or on my panfish rods, I also use that a lot. Are you really to post this on YouTube? <clears throat> yeah. So we'll get to talking. What do you guys say? No editing, even. What? Whoa, are these subscribers? You know what we should do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. I don't have a video. Go on there. YouTube's on Tuesday, and they're like, "Oh boy, I can't wait to watch the new KLB video." And then they click on it, it's just a couple idiots walking around in their local fleet farm. Local mills. Tim, this is one of Tim's favorite stores, he said. Because they usually have everything he needs. Just kidding. Look at that. That's what you call, that's what you call awesomeness right no there. No way, an iPhone for three ninety nine. Oh my gosh. What? Uh, <laughs> what are these? What are those? Hide a hook bobber. Hide a hook bobber. Let me see There's that quick. No parents. If you have ever used these, how are they? Are they any good or no? Shakespeare. This looks Shakespeare. like something that hmm. if you're a dad and your kid... Is that like a dad bobber? No, this looks like something a kid would beg their dad to buy. It. Oh, okay. Seems about right. Kind of like me going to sleep. Dad, You know what we should do? You know what I really want to do? I want to start a podcast. That would be fun, where you just, like, me and you and Parker or somebody would just sit around and talk about, me, you, and Pete would just sit around and talk about <laughs> random stuff, random fishing stuff. What, would you do that? Cool. Tim would do it. Whoever's watching this video, the few of you that are probably, no, just kidding, we gotta have high hopes. This is gonna get a lot of views, just because it's stupid. I'm just kidding. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see another trout fishing video. Yeah. Comment down below what video you want to see next. Tim wants to go trout fishing. I want to go walleye fishing. Or bluegill fishing, I guess. Or if you want to see hunting videos, comment down below. And if we should start a podcast, comment down below. Please and thank you. What did you just say? What did you say? How many broken St. Croix do we have in the, uh, in the rod rack today? Here's one. Here's one broken St. Croix. two. No. Yeah. How do you know? How do you know they're broke? It's missing the top eyelid insert. Yep, look at that. Wait, where is it? Make sure it's in the camera. See, there's right there. the top one. And see how there's a little thingy in the second one? Gone. Multiple different ones. Junk. Absolutely junk. Ooh, hair jigs are another good bait for walleyes I like. Maybe a few pulling flies works sometimes. Oh, look at all the thumper jigs. Every single rod I bought from Fleet Farm has not lasted more than... So you're saying don't buy a rod from Fleet Farm no. or certain ones? I've The two rods that I bought from Fleet Farm this year is not... The St. Croix that I buy from here. They all the higher end rods, you should say. Yeah. The really high end rods. Do not buy from Fleet Farm, Tim says. But other I'm Fleet Farms it. could be different. I doubt it. Tim doubts it. Okay, well... I think we're gonna head out of Fleet Farm. Minnow traps. Dude. Minnow traps. <laughs> okay. Well, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button down below. If you want to see some trout videos, comment down below because we will go to the trout stream tomorrow if you want us to. And uh, yeah, I'll put in this video a day early, just for you guys. Well, me and Tim are gonna go back to work tomorrow instead of fish. And uh, yeah. So you're gonna hit that subscribe button, comment if you want to. We need to start. I really want to start a podcast. Just cause, dude, it would be so funny if we had a podcast. But yeah, hit that subscribe button. Follow me and Tim on Instagram.
And yeah, stay tuned for the next video. So it will be an actual video. It's going to be a good one.